Hello everybody, it's me again, Insane Gorilla. Welcome back to my channel. And this is part three of What if Deku was a fallen? Well, and, and if you haven't just seen What if Deku was a hive, you would have understood that I was going to be doing this one anyway. So, yeah, I'm a man of my word, I'm doing this anyway, just because I want, want to do it, so yeah, and again, sorry if I stumble, I can't help it, just like I was doing earlier in the first video, so where we last left off is that Deku was part of House Exile of Uraraka and two other fallen from his original house, the House of Red Hearts. With them actually going out in a patrol with a cap another captain in his group. Him actually well talking to Uraraka, who's the captain of Deku's group. Deku is literally her second in command. And he would sort of talk to her and sort of put in a few. This guy's a bit of a um, flirter with female Elixney. And he's also a bit of a pig because he's got quite a few females. He's just one of those guy kinds of fallen. And she would just say, look pal, I can tell that you're flirting, trying to flirt with me. Back off. I ain't dumb. I know when people are trying to get their way with me. I've had to live with barely any ether for months on end. I think I can pretty much tell when people are trying to worm their way into my head. Back off. I've already got somebody else in mind. Sure as hell ain't you. With, well, this captain's vandals sort of sniggering, saying, Ooh, he just got talked down to by a girl. What a burn. I feel, so, I don't feel sorry for the guy who she's with, or trying to get with. As they would continue their patrol, coming across a bit of a bad sight. Seeing three fallen squads bickering among themselves, all over the. And now, iniquities of, well, a certain vandal and another vandal tag-teaming their captains to, well, pick a fight with another captain. Which, coincidentally, are all the same captains that are in this little squabble. As it turns out, they're all triplets. And they don't have the best relationship with each other anyway. All three of them believing a different one was always the favourite of their mother. As well. Unaraka and her group, along with his captain, would just walk down and ask what the hell was going on. The male captain would ask what the hell was going on. As one of them would just punch him in the face, saying, Get out of this. This ain't your domain. As he would call him a well stealer. He would steal anything and everyone to please him. To please himself and to make everybody else look bad. 
as Uraraka would step in saying, Hey, stop arguing. Can you tell me what the hell's going on? As they would say, well, one of them would say, Are you with him or are you on your own? As Uraraka would say, He ain't my type. And I know what he was trying to do with me, try to do earlier when we were walking here, or walking around here. He ain't my type. He's too much of a pig. So I will choose my own mate. I've already got my eye on one of one person already. But I'm not saying who. There's the side saying, thank God nobody's actually on his side for once. As they explain what the hell's going on, with Odoraka quickly figuring out that it's the two vandals that are sneaking away. But then a hive tomb ship appears. Not just one, but two. As they would gorge out the hive, well, unload all the hive, with Odoraka saying, Everybody in combat positions now. We got company. And it's a lot. The hive, well, running at them. One of the, well, the fallen captain who was hitting on Araka tells his people to charge. With them sort of doing so, apart from the two vandals as they were actually snipers. And eventually after doing like what kind of good damage the captain ended up getting overwhelmed and well torn limb from limb. As Deku sees a wizard in the background just hovering there. Being very, well, commanding, as it would point out to several locations, as the hive would swarm those certain locations, causing where Uraraka, Deku, and the three cap other captains were with their squads, plus those two vandals, to be, well, surrounded. With Deku taking out a Kakuri. And, well, cutting two of the hive down, grabbing a pistol that he still had, and, well, cutting and shooting the hive down piece by piece. Be aware they are still on the moon, so they are with the House of Exiles still. With, well, event, with the hive getting cut down to ribbons, this wizard sort of silently communicates with the hive to pull back. We will lure them into an even bigger trap. As they did so, Uraraka is saying, We better not pursue. As the three captains would say, no, we pursue, we drive them back to where they came from, we try and do as much damage as we can, and we tr quickly try to boogie out again. If you don't know what boogie out means, trying to get out. As they would follow the hive, all the way to a, well, staging area slash fighting pit similar to the one that the hive deku one had as they would charge in cause as much damage as they can to the superstructure as the hive wizard would reappear saying surprise welcome to your deaths as doors would open as tons of thrall and acolytes with a few knights would charge out. As well, Deku was aiming up a shot for the wizard as a hive knight 
would, well, get in front of the wizard, causing Deku to shoot and hit the knight square in the chest. As this knight would charge at him along with a few thrall, with one acolyte having a bit of support from the back. With this hive knight just, well, swinging his sword around like he owns the damn place, hitting one of the thrall, killing it. As he would swing again at Deku, with Deku ducking under his blade, which then proceeds with the Hive Knight kneecapping him in the face, which causes Deku to fall back to his to the rest of his group that was starting to fall back. With Udaraka and the three captains saying, everybody fall back now. There's too many hive. This was an even greater trap. With them exiting, with Deku finding, well, a few things that could prove useful on the way out. But he'll leave it there for a bit, for a while, until he comes back. As they would finally get out, with the hive, well, quickly running up behind them. With Deku shouting, has anybody got a grenade I can throw? As one of the, one of the vandals would shout, here, catch. As he would catch a grenade, as he would prime it and throw it. This actually sticking to a hive for all, as he would, well, sort of ricocheted in a bit of pain, as he would try and run again as the grenade goes off. Killing five for all nearby, but there was nowhere near enough to slow them down, as there were thousands of them running out. As Deku and his whole group, all four squads, get out, they see a, well, a good area to set up a defense. As the Thrall, Acolytes, Knights and the Wizard all come flying out, flooding the area. With Deku and, well, the people he was with, all setting up firing position, shooting down at the hive that exit the tunnels that they entered. And, well, they made sure the hive felt it. After a while, the hive... Knights and the wizard finally appear, with the fire still going down to the water. The hive with, well, good amount of success. But when the hive, knights and the wizard turn up, the acolytes followed. As the, well, acolytes start to provide covering fire for the knights as they went full force. With the wizard still keeping his distance. As well, they actually see a fallen female running, well, away from where they were to, well, over the hill, over the railings, then continues bolting past them, saying, run away, there's even more hive on the way. As they would see that there was five tomb ships, and they just deposited twelve ogres. Overpowered, I know, but hey, story.
which makes them all run in every which direction. One of the captains follows Deku and Uraraka, and the other two fallen. What, the other four? Fallen. With his group, while well, his brothers go their groups. Deku and Uraraka's group, along with the captain, who will remain nameless, catch up with this one fallen as they would find other hive trying to attack her as Deku would just rush in slice a few of them up and shoot one in the face with her getting up saying thank you as she holds on to a well sort of a sling but none of her arms are in it as they all well regroup with this one cap with the captain that followed. As this captain would say, What is why is woman like you doing out here? As she would say Camp was overrun with hive been on the road for weeks now. Just trying to find other fallen. Stopped there for a while. Then you turned up. As well, they'd start hearing coughing, then sort of crying. As she would look down, saying, Hush, little one. Urakan is here. Your mother is here. As Deku would say, you were carrying your own child through a dangerous area. As she would say, daughter is very quiet. She is extremely quiet. Well, until she gets hungry for Aoife. I cannot provide Aoife. Been making it by hand. Difficult to do while holding on to daughter. Had two others, but they did not make it. As Uraraka would walk up, wearing, well, sort of like looking like the House of Devils, but it's not. Pretend it's all green. She would say, House Exile should be able to help you. They can make more ether, and we've got a few servitors. With her, well, with her saying thank you, been wondering how to find safety. Could not risk losing only reason to live. Ask your names, but it may be futile. But please, would like to know names of saviors. As Uraraka would say, Uraraka, a former, former captain of House Red Hearts. As the other two would speak up, saying, Todoroki, also of Red Hearts. As another one would shout, saying, Muscular, also of Red Hearts. No, not Muscular. Toya, Todoro Toya from Red Hearts. As the other one would say, Deku, 
former former step brother to the Kel of Red Hearts. With everybody sort of being surprised that well, in Deku's group, apart from Naraka, saying you were the step brother of the Red Hearts, Kel. As he would say, yes. Never liked her. Never got on with her. Only got on with her mother. Never with her. A weak and pathetic Kel. As Shoto and Toya would say, glad to know that you're not stuck up like her then as well. We all agree that you should be Kel. You make hard choices. House survival or house destruction. She is a weak and pathetic Kel. With Odoraka speaking up saying she's so weak. Who knows how long she could hold. Most probably two minutes. Maybe more. As the captain gives his name from his squad along with his men. And she says, as this one woman says, thank you, saviors, for saving me and daughter. As she would look towards Deku and Uraraka, specifically, as she would see Uraraka constantly, well, looking at her and at Deku as well is she would tap Hodoraka on the shoulder, saying, I know who you seek approval of. This catching everyone's attention. As Hodoraka just says, Don't you dare say it, okay? I want this person to figure out who it is, who I was... Speaking of, I don't want secrets revealed so soon. We've heard this laughing saying, Secret safe with me. Don't worry. You remind me of myself when I found a husband or mate. A strong man, a good man. Wanting to bring back House of Stone to be unified again. Former House Maiden myself. As everybody would sort of say, House Stone lives? House Stone no more. House Stone dead, cannot be brought back through sheer will, only a descendant of Chelsic, Chelsix, the brave one, could bring back house. Last I knew, he had no offsprings, but legends and rumours persist about one strong-willed and strong-minded perhaps could find him or her make house strong again but cannot do much myself not experienced enough only handmaiden not warrior, not leader, no elder cipher, no catch, no crew, no archon, no high servitor, cannot make things by scratch. As the director would just say to her, you still handmaiden of House Stone still makes you 
Stone. Well, a member of House Stone. You, by default, are Kel. As she would just say, prefer to stay handmaiden, not become Kel. Don't call me cowardly. Just prefer not to be leader. But my mission still persists. Find one who may be related to Chelsix. Hopefully, begin to make a new house of stone stronger, more dependable, more vicious, but also knows the ways of the fo of the elixir. But will still take your help for saving me and daughter. As her daughter would start crying again, saying, Harsh little one, Ether will soon feed, will soon nourish you. As they would all walk back to a very big camp filled with. Filled to the brim with exiles. As one of them would say, Udraka, Deku. Well, Captain Udraka, why is he here? As they would look over to the captain, as he said, Brothers have not returned. As this one captain, other captain, well, no, change that. This baron would say, no, your brothers have not returned. Why? As Uraraka would say, been attacked. Hive. Hive attacked us. Uh, one other captain killed. Not very nice one either, but he was killed. So we must retaliate, yes? As this form would say, no. Well, this bound would say, we do not go and retaliate. We stay our course. Who's she? As he would point over to a strange woman who followed them, as she would say, my name is Terafas. Terafas, former handmaiden of House Stone. As everybody would say, but House Stone has been killed off. Why would you still be a former handmaiden? As she would say, handmaiden who survived. Who remembers Chelsix, the hero, one who stood his ground in the world wind against world wind? Do not question me, but on mission to find relative of House Stones Kell, whether they know it or not, must find this one. Fast before all is lost for House Stone. As this Baron would look down, will look her up and down, noticing that she's cradling a youngling, well, a young, young one. As he would say, hmm. take her to all other mothers. She must. Nourish, little one, first. As Uraraka would just say, As you wish, Baron. As she would actually point out, saying, That one. I will have that drag, well, that one vandal, take me to where all other mothers are. 
I could start my investigations with him. There's a few points to Deku. Vodorak is saying it'd be best if a captain took you, not a vandal. This is an overarching order. I'm taking you myself. Uh, very well, then. As Udarak will take her. As she quickly walk up to Deku, saying, well, the one holding the child would walk up to him, saying, keep an eye out for suspicious people. You may not be what you think. Nor anybody else here, for that matter. With her walking off with Odoraka. With Toya and Shoto Tagarokis. Both walking up to them. Both walking up to him saying, What the hell was she talking about? Is House Stone relatives? Hell, if there is a relative of House Stone. Made a traveller what made a great machine watch over him. As Deku would say, the way she was speaking to me sounded like she knew who I was and what I was. Keep eye out on her. When if she tries to sneak out of this space. Follow her. As they would both say, as you, as you say. Let's head to our lodgings. Get to having a few more EFO, having some EFO rations. As well, Deku would leave. One way, Toya and Todoroki. Toya and Shoto, sorry, would leave. In a different direction, both of them being brothers. As well, a small posse would start following Deku. Take care of a few vandal, well, take care of a few drakes. And one or two younger ch young children as well. As well, one of the children would actually run up to him and then. And then ask him for stories. As Deku would say, not good at telling them. Not sure if you want to hear them from me. As a few more children walk up to him saying, we want to hear stories. You seem to be tougher than others. With a teacher of sorts walking out saying, Come on, children. Leave him alone. Perhaps if he's not on mission tomorrow, he could come to classroom. Come to classroom. And share a few stories with you. Yes? Yes, then he would just ponder it and say, Fine, I will come up with good stories for them. As they would say, all shout yay, we get to hear stories from a warrior. As well. Deku walks away with the group still following him. As well, somebody in the shadows just speaks saying, so, this is where he's gone to. Kel will be pleased, but not pleased that he's with House Exile. Must report immediately. And that's actually where I'm leaving it off, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry if I, again, stumbled. But, anyway, leave a like, comment, sub subscribe.
do all that shenanigans. Peace.